Hello everyone. In this video, we will see insights of a neural network. We will see how to identify layers from a neural network, how to identify weights associated with the neural network, how to get input and output from each layer, how to save your model to a file and how to load model saved in a file. So let's see. First thing is we have to check which version we are using for the TensorFlow. So here we are using 2.3.0. After that we have to import all the required libraries. After that we have defined our model. Our model is sequential one with three layers. First is input with the name input underscore layer. Second is dense layer with the name hidden layer. And third is again dense layer with the name output layer. So we can print the model summary with the help of summary method. It provides information in tabular form. It lists out which are the layers present inside the model what is output shape and how many parameters are there in each layer. Total number of parameters are 7. Total number of trainable parameters are also 7. Non-trainable parameters are 0. We can also plot a model. So for that we have to use tf.keras.utils.plot model. Parameters are which model we want to plot and where to store this plot so first is model that we want to plot second is simple.png file if we are using google colab then simple.png file will be generated in your drive another parameter is whether we want to show shapes of input and output here we have specified true means shape will be displayed in a plot so first is input layer so input has question mark comma one so question mark indicates batch size one is actually the shape of each sample output is again generated as a question mark comma one that will be provided to the hidden layer and hidden layers output will be taken as an input for the output layer where we are going to generate one output for each sample we can also identify number of layers from the model by using layers property for that we have to use model dot layers it will return a list of layers present inside the model along with its type so first layer is dense layer second layer is again dense layer input layer will not be considered we can also access the individual layers by using the index for that we have to specify model dot layers into rectangle bracket the layers index for example zero so we are getting first layer as a dense layer we can also access the layer by using its name we want to access hidden layers so inside get layer method you have to specify parameter as a hidden layer we have seen how to access the layers now let's create a dummy input and output so for that we have used np.random.rand we want to generate 100 random values now this is the input for this input we have to provide actual output for the time being we are just providing the same values as a y so print x and print y 100 values are printed over there now we have configured our training process using model.compile method optimizer we are using stochastic gradient descent losses are mean absolute error then we have trained our model and we are getting loss as 0.26. Now if we want to identify weights associated with the model, we can use model.weights. So weights property identify the weights associated with the layers of the neural network. So as we can see, first is TF dot variable object it is associated with the hidden layers kernel its shape is 1 comma 2 and the weights associated 
with that particular layer now second is again tf dot variable object associated with the hidden layer but this time we are talking about bias its shape is 2 comma 0 and the bias values are 0 comma 0 so this is true for uh, the output layer also what if we want to use the name for getting the weights so yes you can use name for the layers we have to use model dot get layers into bracket name of that layer dot weights property this will provide hidden layers bias and the weights associated with that layer so these are the weights associated with the layer and uh, this is bias now if we observe the if we are using weights then we are getting tf dot variable as an object but what if we want to have those weights in an array so for that we have to use get with weights method so this method allows us to get the weights in array format we are getting that array for the weights and array for the bias now can we use indices over there yes you can so model dot layers into bracket index of uh, that layer and after that you have to specify get weights method to get the weights and bias in the array form we can directly as access bias also so model dot layers into rectangle bracket zero dot bias will provide us the bias values associated with the neurons in the zeroth layer we can also identify input and output for the layers for that we have to use input and output property so model dot layers into rectangle bracket zero dot input will provide input to the neural network and dot output will provide the act activations output which will be taken as input by the next layer so here we are talking about layer 0 means the first hidden layer it is taking input with none comma one shape and output it is generating none comma two observe that hidden layer and after that we are applying relu activation functions on it so that is also specified over here outputs are tensors now we can use this for generating the new models then uh, how to save your model so for that we can use model dot save method in model dot save method we have to specify name of the file in which we want to save our model here we are specifying model dot h5 file this file will be generated in your drive again okay so once we have saved that particular model in h5 we can take this h5 on any machine now on that machine we want to load this model so for that you have to use load underscore model method present inside tensorflow dot keras dot models module okay now use that method load underscore model into bracket we have to specify the file path and after that we will get a new model that is model 2 now let's check out whether weights associated with the zeroth layer is same as that of the model so for that we have to use model 2 dot layers 0 dot get weights so we are getting weights in the array form so these weights are same as that of the model okay we are getting those weights we can only save the parameters in a file instead of saving whole model so we can use save weights same as that of your save model save weights after that we have to specify name of the file consisting of where we want to store the trainable parameters okay here in case we have specified weights underscore only dot h5 file again this file will be stored in your drive so we have only weights but we haven't specified the skeleton for the new model so we have to develop that 
model 3 is equal to sequential and inside that we have added input layer dense layer and another dense layer same as that of our model created previously now we want to load the weight inside the skeleton so for that we have to use again load underscore weights and name of the file so we have specified weights underscore only dot eh5 so weights are updated for the model Three. So these weights are already learned by model or model 2. Okay, now let's see whether we are getting same weights as that of model model 2 or not. So again, we have to use get weights method on layer 0. And yes, we are getting the same weight as that of the model and model 2's 0th layer. So this is how we can access the individual layer we can check out its input output weights associated with the layers okay thank you for watching the video